Let's do this right this time. Okay, there we go. I'm always looking up like this when I record for some reason. But anyways, hello, hello, hello. So it is 3.58. I said I was going to be there. I didn't tell y'all this. I told somebody I was going to be in here at 3.15, but you know how stuff go. I was watching Stormy Weather, one of my black and white movies. Hey, Brenda, don't forget any time, okay? So first, I want to say hi and how's everybody doing? I've had a whole week of feel good, sort of, until at night. Then it feel bad. <laughs> but anyway, hey, cuz. So, anyways, um, and it, as it's getting hotter, like, you know, you don't want to be doing too much on your stove and things. So, now that summer's coming, I'm going to switch up a whole lot of stuff, except for my greens and my cabbage. I'm going to keep on making that, no matter. I have to eat that every day. Well, I don't have to, but I love it. But I'm going to get ready to make some fried cabbage my way right now. Then I have hubby had grilled some steaks. I'm going to put this sauce over the steak. I'm going to bring that steak back to life. And I'm going to make some jasmine rice. But um, I'm going to probably do a lot of talking because now it's time to start making easy meals, 30-minute meals, some in the foil packets and some on top of the stove. I'm going to use my indoor grill an awful lot. I'm going to use my toaster oven an awful lot, and I'm going to make out some bang, some bang, bang out meals for y'all, you hear me? With a toaster oven, an indoor grill, and a stove top. There's hardly no oven. If I do the oven, it'll be later in the day where it's cool and stuff at, so. But a lot of these meals are going to be healthy. You taking those, cuz? I got to ask you a question if you go into the union. Me, you, and Sharon and Nikki could be the Supremes for the 60th um, talent show. Me and Art going to do Peaches and Herb. And I think he's going to do something. But I was thinking about us hitting the Supremes off me, you, Sharon, and Nikki. So we'll talk about it when I'm trying to... Oh, plug your phone up, Brenda. And um, use your, um, your Wi-Fi connection so maybe it won't skip, you know. Get in a good spot. So, um, but anyway, uh, Sean Bay, we'll talk about that later. But let me show you guys what I have here, too. That stormy weather is a good black and white right there. If you're into black and whites, we love it. So in here, right, I have all different colored peppers and onions. You know, the yellow, the green, the red, you know, different colored peppers and onions. I have some garlic right here. And... This ain't my thing, but since I had it, I'm going to use it. Um, turkey bacon. Mm. Right? And I have the cabbage right here. And here I have my thyme, my parsley, and my... Um, oh, my God. Thyme, parsley. What's the other one? Rosemary. But I'm only going to use the thyme, okay? And so... Let me get this started. This is going to be short. Um, I just really needed a vegetable. So, and I have my stove on already. Now, when y'all can't see the whole thing, you know, my, my whole um, preparation, let me know, okay? Because sometimes when I, when I look back, I see half of it. I want you to see everything. So, say something to me if you can't get, if you don't see it good, let me know, okay? Because you know I ain't good at this stuff. I'm trying. I'm giving y'all what I got, what I know. So, help me out. So... Here's the grapeseed oil, right? Now, you know, I love my grapeseed oil. And a friend of mine gave me, let me show y'all this here. Is this the sun, Italian sunflower oil? As bad as it want to be. This is some good stuff here. It's a Mediterranean blend Italian sunflower oil. Extra virgin olive oil. This is so good. I took this and I mixed it in with my regular, um, my regular oil. Oh my God. And then I used it by itself too. This has some good stuff. And then once she gave it to me, I started seeing a lot of the chefs using it. Uh, my pan is heating up. But let me put the oil in. But look, if you can see through your oil, right? That means you got some good oil going on, right? It won't burn. The dark oils, you got to be more careful about what you heat, okay? Your dark oils, but when you can see through your oil, that means you have a better oil. 
Where my thing at? Yeah, you have a better oil. Know where I learned that from? Rachel Ray. Uh-huh, she told me that yesterday. Yes, she did. She told me that yesterday. Okay. So being that I have my, my stove on already, it's easier so when you put your oil in, it's gonna heat it up quickly, right? So what I'm gonna do right now is um, I'm gonna put my, pe my um, peppers and onions in. See, and I just put that oil in there, right? And it's popping already. That's because I had the stove on already. So that, that's a good thing to do, guys. Have your stuff ready. Ready. So I'm going to saute these and caramelize them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it off with a little pepper. Pepper to taste, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Pepper to taste. And saute that. Let it go. And I, and I really like it when you heat your pan up first and then put your oil in there, okay? Then you don't have to be waiting till you all heat up. And as soon as when your veggies, whatever you're putting in there, hits that pan, Get to doing what it do. Pick up some garlic. Use as much as you want. This is what I want to use, okay? Or if you don't have your fresh garlic, use your, you know, your minced garlic. Garlic powder you can put right into the oil. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Put that garlic powder right up in there. Okay. I am going to take my uh, thyme. I'm going to take about two sprays. Now let me tell you about this. My co-worker, the one I told you that make that rasta pasta, Tanya, sometimes you might hear me call a boss lady. Well, she told me how to keep the herb, the fresh herbs fresh, and that is to put it in a paper towel. And I'll be doggone. I've been doing it for the longest. You see this? Look how nice that still looks. And I've had it in the refrigerator for a minute. Huh? She told me about that, so. Alright, let's put this in here. Remember I tell you about your stems? Don't throw them away. Put it in there. Put some time up in this joint here. Let me do a little more. Ah, oh, what the hell? Get in there. I'm not going to overdo it because I still want to do the taste of cannabis, but... But I, I, I tore up a sprig and half. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? We doing some cabbage my way. Right? So, now with that time, and, and yeah, you can use it for any of your vegetables. Don't overdo it though because you know time will take over. And you think you'll be eating time instead of cabbage. That time, that time is boss. Telling you. So anyway. Now I'm gonna take this turkey bacon. I told you I'm not a fan of this, but it was on sale. I think it was four for a dollar, something like that. Eh. So I used it for. Oh yeah, I didn't have no um, smoked meat for my greens at one time, and I used this with my my regular bacon grease. Those greens were bad as they wanted to be, but I'm gonna use this in this cabbage here, okay? Not that I, I mean I could have done it without the meat, but it's gonna go to waste if I don't use it. And, and I mean, it is, don't get me wrong, it's good. I just like to have the, I'd rather have the, the, the pork. Salam, I hope you didn't hear that. Sean Bay told me to use the pork, and I said, no, Sean Bay, I ain't doing that. Mm -mm. Sean Bay said, Cindy, use the pork, and I said, no, Sean Bay, can Salam see that? He's going to be mad at me. So Salam, Sean Bay told me, but I told Sean Bay no. <laughs> huh, Sean Bay? <laughs> Ooh. 
Sanve is my first cousin, y'all. That's the first cuz. I'm good watching you cook. <laughs> Tell mama I said hi. Now, Jennifer, she has a mind ministry at our church. I used to mind before I lost all my wind. She bad as she wanted to be too. But look, her mother, mm, 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 mm. she taught me how to bake, y'all. Now, you know Shabbat Nana is a baker, right? I was never a baker. Nana was the baker. My grandma, she was in the paper and everything for her baking. But I know how to make some things, right? Some things I do. But to bust out them old good cakes like that, well, Jennifer's mom showed me. So when you see me making them cakes up in here, that's who I get them from, Jennifer's mom. And she's an excellent cook, too. We all put our heads together, boy. Yeah. So we're going to let this do what it do. I'm going to put some more heat up on here. I love the compliment words do. And then, you know, if you're earnest, you can get it. I ain't one of the females that can't compliment you and stuff. I ain't me. And I'm not a people pleaser either, so I don't compliment you because I want you to like me. I can care less. You dig? <laughs> Oh, I'm, feeling, I'm just in that mood today. I'm just there. I've been feeling good. I told you when I feel good, I feel good. You know, not, ain't nothing hurting right now. Thank you, Jesus. Hit some wood. Ain't nothing hurting. Nothing. Stomach is feeling okay. That's right. Homemade pound cakes. That's right. Yes, sir. So, anyways. I didn't notice that a lot of my church videos was, I was putting it on my cooking channel. So you got so much stuff on the cooking channel, right? Like, what is that? Well, it is what it is. I didn't mean to do it, but it happened. But maybe to make the page, you know, more exciting. I don't know. Now, my YouTube channel, I'm mad at YouTube because all of a sudden now, I can't um, record the videos on there unless I have all these many subscribers. So what I do now is... I take my videos from here and I just keep posting them and you know if it happened it happened but that's for people that's making money off there I don't do this to make the money so but I love I still like my YouTube channel but they just made some new rules and stuff so like they care that I'm mad at them right but my channel is still there y'all so I'm gonna be putting a lot of good stuff on there too um, I think what I'm gonna do on my YouTube channel is I, I'm gonna keep it open. Oh, hi, Mom. I'm gonna keep it open, but that's gonna be more than about food, that YouTube channel, okay? And then I have two Facebooks. One is in the kitchen with Cindy. I'm gonna keep that food, and the regular page will be with the church stuff and all that other stuff. Now, as far as that kitchen table talk, you can get it on any site. We're gonna get into some of that. Okay, look at this now, y'all. Look. See, I say one thing and I do another thing. It's how I feel when I'm on, on, my, on my pages, you know? I'm going to make sure they stay excited, though. But I got to tell you, my Facebook page is doing this thing. Boy, if I wanted to get paid, I'd get paid good for that Facebook page. Okay. I want to keep that thing going. And you know what I know? This turkey bacon don't get crisp, 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 crisp. Like your regular bacon, because it's like you, some people eat it right off the pad, right? It don't get that really crispy, crispy thing like the regular bacon do, you know? And then it, the longer you cook it, you know, you're going to cook all the flavor out of it and stuff. They don't want that. Okay, this is good enough. Right? So... I had a, uh, wait a minute. I'm gonna take and we're gonna start putting some cabbage in here. I kinda wanna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the fire a little bit. Okay, we're gonna start adding some cabbage. Now you know that cabbage makes its own water, right? And you also know it shrinks, I mean, it shrinks. So when you think you got a whole lot of cabbage going on, 
You don't. Now, for each time I put this cabbage in, I want to toss it. I want to bring the peppers from the bottom to the top as much as I can. And move that thyme around. But I think I'm going to put probably another sprig of thyme. Thyme gives it an earthy flavor to it. And I'm going to put some parsley on here too. It just gives it a taste that's like out of this world. It's just good. It just goes well, you know? It's like, you know, we vibes, you know? So how about this? The cabbage, the thyme, the peppers and the onions, they be vibing. Huh? How about that? That's what they be doing. Mm-hmm. They be vibing. Okay. Right? Give it a little more. So I hope y'all had a good day. The day is still young. It's still young yet. But I hope your days was nice. You had a good weekend. And stuff like that. You know, I, I'm a person. I, I got to use my hands. Do y'all get like that? If it ain't too hard, go ahead and do it. If you, I mean, if you can't take it, don't do this, okay? I don't know. I just, that donkey kind of be all prissy and cute. It's good sometimes, but I got to use my hands right now. I, I can't. I feel I be getting it. See, look, I got a better relationship, sort of, with the food. Right? I just, now if it's too hot, you know I ain't doing that. You know, I know when not to do it, but I've been using my hands with that heat for so long now. So if, I be, you, you guys, if you do that, be real careful, okay? It probably ain't the smartest thing to do, but I'm just used to it. Hey, Songbird! Choir rehearsal Thursday, you coming out? Okay. So I'm going from the bottom, if you notice, and I'm bringing it to the top. I'm, I'm just flipping it. You know, some fall off the pan, put it back in there. I ain't never heard of no neat cooking. If you know, I don't want to eat it. It don't exist. So just keep turning it. And when it get hot enough, you know, we'll use the tongue again, you know. This ain't nothing but love, baby. Ain't nothing but love. And you know when you get to your green parts of your cabbage, the, the, the leaves of it, the outside, don't, well, some people throw them away. Don't throw them away. Roll them up and cut them. It makes the cabbage look good. It gives it two different, you know, two tone. It makes it look pretty. So don't throw that away. I know I see some people that cook cabbage, they throw that part away. Uh-uh, slice that thing up. Use it. Use all your stuff. Okay, guys, I got to use this now. I got to go all the way to the bottom. Yeah, see that? I ain't that crazy. Yeah, no. There we go. Okay. I'm going to break that. When you get them sticks, I use all my stuff. I cut that cabbage you can't get no more out of before you throw that core away. Love. I be pulling that core apart. I be getting all that cabbage. Get it, get it. Don't stop. Say, sick. Most people throw that away. Not I. No sorry, but see, and it's and now it's like cooking evenly. Once you know you toss it up a little bit, make sure everything gets some of the seasoning, some of the thyme. Get the juices from the pepper, right? I wish I had me a jalapeno. I got that scotch bonnet, that, you know, I'm, I'm saving that for the oxtails this week. I probably should have saved the cabbage for them too, but no. Nope. Because that goes good with it. I'll make some more cabbage. Now, you see how some of this cabbage, you see how it's cooking? Yeah, and that's why you want to turn. You want everything to start looking the same. Keep on turning it. 
Keep flipping it. I'm gonna put some more in. And you notice it's gonna start cooking down more and more. And here's another trick. You know how you hide stuff like, so if you want, hey Scooby, like when you want it, you know, your cabbage to really, oh yeah, Jennifer, I'm gonna do some um, jasmine rice. If I have these steaks that's made, I'm gonna make a special sauce over these steaks. Something real simple. I want some cornbread. I'm thinking about that. I know my hubby would love to have some cornbread. I'm pretty sure. I'm thinking about it. And sometimes when I'm here cooking, it depends. I start cooking a whole bunch of stuff. I get all happy up in here. And then the next thing you know, I made a meal, you know, meals for a whole week. Because I love the kitchen. I love when I love doing this. Y'all just don't know. I mean, I really love it. And I'm no chef. I always tell you that. I'm not a chef. I'm a cook. I'm not a chef, but we have them in my family, my brother and my sister, Sharon and Terrence, and my, and my sister-in-law, Lolita. Those are the chefs. I'm telling you about my brother's He, I'm going to just throw that away. I always tell y'all this story, right? My brother, right, Sean Bay Terrence, him and his wife owned the Ethiopian restaurant in New Jersey, South Orange, New Jersey. And you can learn how to cook a lot of stuff. I learned doing Ethiopian cabbage. I learned how to make some beef, some good beef di dishes and stuff. And my sister, she chef for St. Barnabas Hospital in Livingston, New Jersey. But they all work at the canteen. He owns a canteen in the hospital. Yep. My uncle J.D. was a cook. Sean Bay's dad, God bless his soul. Uh, Uncle Jay, was a good cook, too. And my Nana was just phenomenal. We always say that about our Nanas, right? Whether it's true or not, our Nana was phenomenal. Mm. And I get a lot of what I do, the cooking, from my Nana. That's who I get a lot of it from. And just knowing how to mix stuff up, I don't know. We, we had to cook in our house. Like a lot of us, we all had to cook. And you just learn, you know, then you learn how to mess with seasons and stuff. Me and my brother Terrence, the chef, we used to always try to figure out what seasons we had in our food. And we could do it, you know. God gives us with a lot of different things, you know. We, we all have, get, you know, different gifts and, you know, and, and, and I'm happy for mine. I know how to sew. I can play the organ and the piano. I do a lot of stuff. I'm a, I got a cookbook I'm trying to write now. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of recipes and they're all mine. Just have to perfect them and, you know, figure out the next step with that cookbook. So when I do my cooking, I want people to taste it. I need feedback. When y'all on my web channels and stuff, I need you guys to talk to me. Request some things and tell me, you know, if I could do something different, you know. Communicate with me. I'm a big girl. My feelings ain't gonna get hurt. I thank you. It's all, all coming to welcome. Just like I'm dumping everything out my pot constantly. Like right? you say, why you keep spilling your food? And I say, cause I want to. It's mine, none of your business. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But yeah, comments and stuff, you know. All that stuff is welcome. It, you know, it helps me to do better and be better. So, if there's something you want to know how to make, let me know. I tell you, and I'm serious, I can make it about just about anything. You name it. I bet you I can cook it. If I can, I'll figure it out for you. I'll practice. Okay, so we're going to let this sit for a minute. And we're going to move on. Let me wash my hands. Now... If I put the top on here, it becomes steamed cabbage. You know what I'm saying? That's not what we're doing. So I'm not putting the top on here. I'm actually frying it. Even though when you fry certain things, you can use a top too. But I don't want to use a top, okay? So let me just, I like the clean as I go. Awesome. 
So we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna show you how I use my rice maker and my microwave. Come on over here, come this way. I want the recipe for the bacon wrapped asparagus. Oh my God, that was so good, Jen. I'll do that this week because I want to do a lot of veggies. I want to do a lot of uh, summer stuff, a lot of veggies. During the summer, you know, if you don't eat nothing else, make sure you're getting them vegetables in because you need them vitamins and stuff, you know, and it's healthy. And I love my vegetables. This right here is a sauce I made. I made a pot roast and I saved the, the sauce from here. And in here, it has all the herbs and spices. It has carrots, onions. It has uh, thyme. It has uh, parsley. It has in here um, rosemary. It has a lot of stuff in here. And it's good, good stuff. And I saved it. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this on some steaks and some other stuff in a minute. I sure will, Jennifer. And I got something else for you too, Jennifer. I just had to hold off for a minute. So I, I, you know, that's another story. I just had to make sure everything was correct. The windows. Got one more thing I need to check though, but it's all good. Okay, so let's talk about this jasmine lace here. Okay, I always take it out and put it in here. One of these days, I'm going to show you something. Tanya from my job. Y'all hear me talk about Tanya a lot. Because Tanya, listen, Tanya is a good cook. She be bringing some good stuff up in there, and she know what she's doing. So remember I said, if you can give another person they props when they're doing it, you know, the girl know what she's doing. And we be talking food and stuff a lot. And um, we all foodies, by the way, and we love it. But anyway, she, 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 she tough in the spot. So she gives me stuff, you know, she tell me stuff, I'll be writing stuff down. I have stickies galore. Any given day I could come home with at least 10 stickies for my job of something that they telling me, you know, to try. But anyway, she makes the roster pasta, which I'm going to do. And, um, but um, she showed me another way to do the rice. So here's another chef, Kalila. That's another chef. She been chefing for a long, long time. If you ever, if you ever seen her page when she put her food on that plate, Oh my gosh, a lot of chefs, I'm telling you. They're chefs, I'm not a chef. She's a chef. We talked about her before, so she gave me permission to talk about it, and I did. She, she boss too. But um, Tanya makes the rice, she fries the rice first, right? She takes the top, of, you know, when she covers it, she takes the plastic, and she puts it over the top, and then she puts it on the rice so everything, that the steam can absorb everything. Well, I've done that a few times, and when I tell you, that's the best rice ever. That rice, when you cook it like that, I'm going to show it to you. She, you know, she said I can use her name, and I'm using it too. So, look, but that rice, when you do it like that, fry that rice first, and then take like a regular plastic bag and put it over your top. Oh, my goodness, and let the steam and everything do what it do. That's some good rice, you know, good rice. So, but anyway little time on here so this is jasmine rice you see this here it's also a steamer but it's too small of a steamer for me so i, I never hardly use it but you can steam your vegetables and stuff you know but i i like to make a lot of stuff so you know i use this for other things but when i do my jasmine rice i tell you i'm not a me i'm not the person that measures but for this here the way you cook it in here you have to measure it. so i do two cups of the rice, and I do three and a half of the water, right? One, that's just the way that the, you know, the pamphlet tells you to do this, right? And then a half. And you don't put anything, I don't put no salt, no nothing in here. I put this back on, and I put it in the oven on six minutes. Well, all together is 12 minutes because I do it twice. And this rice is good, and then you fluff it, right? So uh, it comes out just like you cooked it on the stove. I love this thing. That's why I told you we're going to be using what we have, the toaster oven, the um, the indoor grill. We're going to be doing stuff like that. 
And that food, you put the love in it, your food gonna come out good regardless. You gotta put the love in it and know what you're doing. So let's go back here. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. I wish I had some uh, ginger. If you have ginger, fresh ginger, or the ground ginger, sprinkle your little ginger in here. Ah. Yes, sir. Look at that there, huh? This is what I was telling you. Just, if I put the top on, I'm steaming. I am simply giving this here a light fry. And just go from the bottom, and you just want your bottom to come to the top. You just want to rotate. Because you don't want half of it all real done, and then you got stuff that needs to really cook longer, because then you're going to have mushy and no vitamins left. Let me see. I want to see if I have any ground ginger. I really want some ginger in here. Let me see. I don't think I have any though. Ground must I got ground everything except and I used the rest of the ginger I had. I had a little piece left and I used that the other day. Yeah, I don't have none. But you know what I'm gonna put in place of that? I'm gonna take a few pimento seeds. This gives it a good flavor too. This may this will make it savory, okay? Let's throw some of those in here. Let's get some savory. Little savory. And a little celery seed. Just a little bit. And now a little Himalayan salt. Right? Here. And let's incorporate it now. I got my mind on ginger so bad. I gotta let it go. Let it go. It's gonna be okay. Let it go. It's gonna be okay. Hey, look at that. Y'all see that turn? Check my turn out, y'all. I just got fancy. Look, watch. Check my turn now. I double turned that bad boy. <laughs> you gotta have fun when you're cooking, y'all. Gotta make it fun. I did a double, whoa, triple. I'm just being silly. But I'm putting the love in there. Mmm. Mmm. So I noticed that I need some more oil, okay? Mm, by the way, it's good. I want some more oil. All right. And as I tasted it, I need a little garlicky taste. So I'm going to put a little garlic pepper on here, okay? This got to be, the, the taste got to be boss, okay? And I think that'll do it. Think daddy did it? Daddy did it? Daddy did it? Be careful with that. Here we go. That takes the place of your smoked meat, by the way. Because you know that, that turkey bacon is light. You know, it's good, but it's light. So the smoke will put, like, you know, will really enhance it. Be give it a, like, you know, like you use some smoked turkey or something like that, you know? That's what that liquid, uh, like when you're doing your greens and you want to go vegan style with it, use your smoke sauce. See that? Can you see the juices down here? That's what we want. Huh? That's, that's what you want to make sure you have down there. Then you know you're doing it right. Because it makes its own water. Some people put so much water in the cabbage. Oh my lord. You should not have all that liquid down the bottom of that pan. I'm just saying. Okay. And then you don't want to cook the vitamins out. I don't know. If you have a little crunch to your cabbage, it's good. Okay? Nothing wrong with a little crunch in that cabbage. 
keep it cute. But good. That looked kind of good there, don't it? I'm going to taste it. Let me see. It look good. And they taste even better. Mmm. I don't need no more seasoning here, but I'm just going to let it do what it do. Oh, I forgot one thing. Hold up. I knew it was something I wasn't tasting. Wait a minute. Just a little butter. I knew it was something. A little more than that. Let that just go down in here and do what it does. Okay. So let's talk about steak that's already cooked. There's so many things you can do with your food, with your leftovers. And that's what I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you this steak thing, okay? Let me start this cook up. So let me tighten this back up and put this away. And I'm going to show you. Okay. So, this is leftovers. These are two nice steaks, porterhouses that were done on the grill. On here, you got... Um, oyster sauce on here he did art did this and he put the with the oyster sauce some barbecue sauce babe yeah. with the steak you did oyster sauce and you mixed the barbecue sauce in there oyster sauce barbecue sauce mustard oyster sauce barbecue sauce and mustard it's good to know what was put on here so what i put on here don't just ugh. it could be good it could be a disaster so we know he used the oyster sauce. We know he used mustard. So anything I do now has to taste good with mustard, right? So what tastes good with mustard on the steak? Hmm, let me think. So, hold up. So since he did that, I have some steak and chops. Now I've been using this like crazy. I've been really using it. And you see this here, right? Let me get a bigger bowl. We fitting to make it look good and taste good. We fitting to get it on in. Okay, so. I am going to do some time. Hold up. Take a, all right, maybe two more, okay? <laughs> all right. Uh-oh, hold up. Rosemary. I'm going to take two things of rosemary. Hold up, I dropped that. I need that. Let me rinse that off. I need every bit that counts. I'm going to take some rosemary. Well, I only got a little rosemary left, but I'm going to have to pull a little more thyme on here. Let's, I'm going to take the pieces of the thyme from the, the uh, paper towel. I'm going to wrap that back up. Thank you for the tips, Tanya. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It works. I've had this now for like two and a half weeks in the fridge. Right? It works. Wrap up your, your fresh herbs and... Uh, and the keep, you know what I noticed too? All the oils come out, it stays in there, and, and your tissue becomes a little moist, but the oils protect it. Yes. If I was getting upset every time I buy it, it just go bad too quick. And look at the parsley. Huh? I'm going to take a little bit of that. Okay. Put that back in. And you see the excess that I have on my counter? I'm going to take this paper towel and I'm going to use it. I'm not throwing nothing away. No, sir. I'm putting it all in here. If anything strange went in there, you'll never know. <laughs> okay, right? So we have that. And I'm going to take a piece of garlic. Remove that. Hold up. Right. Let me pull this garlic off. Right. Not that 
that in there. Right? I'm going to take the rest of this, the sauce. You paying attention? It's all gone, Cindy. It's all gone. Come on, Cindy. Throw it away. <laughs> okay. And I am going to use the different oil this time. I'm going to use the sunflower, okay? I'm going to do it around maybe three times. I figure I don't measure, so when I do like three times, I know that's enough if I go around, you know. That, that, that's good enough for me, right? Okay. Then, we're going to take the Old Bay seasoning, right? Just a sprinkle. That was more than a sprinkle, wasn't it? And we're going to take, right, pepper flakes. And a little oregano. Oregano and beef goes really, really good, okay? Just so you know. Okay, right? And we're going to take the rest of what we had. when you go to the store. They come in handy. Okay, right? So hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Can I tell you about buying your paintbrushes too, right? Because they come in handy. We just bought a steak back to life, y'all. That's going to taste better than the beginning. And all this goes with what he had on here already. Goes with the mustard. Right? Take the next one. Right? Look at that. Some good stuff here. And I am going to slit some holes in here because I want this to go straight through. So I'm just going to put some slits up in, in here. Because I'm going to put all this on here next. And I want it to get in there so for every bite it's going to be so juicy. Juicy! Here we go, yes y'all. Rocking on the bees y'all. Yeah. Mm. That's how good it is, y'all. I can't help it. Mm, mm, mm. Arthur! Come here, baby. 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 Come here, baby.
babe. Ooh, I'm telling you, this is one of my cookbook with my for sauces and stuff. I love make creating sauce, I swear. Mm. When not to end the oregano is the kicker here. The oregano. Mm. Yeah. Come taste this sauce, honey, when I tell you. Don't smack me, okay? Make you want to smack somebody. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. When you, I got to just do this right now. Mm. Right? Huh? Yeah, that's good. Mm -mm. Can I smack you? I'm going to do it hard. Mm. Right? Can I smack you, please? Let me smack you. That's good. Can I smack you? Go ahead. Oh! Sorry. I was just joking. Oh! Stop. That's <laughs> enough. That's enough. <laughs> vitamins are still in there it ain't all dried it out it has a good flavor not too much of anything thanks to the time cherry tomatoes go good in here too y'all you can do your cabbage so many ways no smacking jennifer look jennifer mm. you didn't take the garbage out last night mm. <laughs> Smack them up with some love. Nothing but love. Look at that. Huh? And that's correct. That is correct. Now, let me show you the juice in here. This is about all you really want in your cabbage. Right? So, when you see a pot of cabbage full of water, you're more than likely to took out the vitamin. You know, you don't want to do that. Okay, hold up. Give me a second here. Let me. Let me, let me, let me. Okay. So we're going to be doing veggies. I'm going to take this out now. Um, I'm put it in here. We're going to be doing veggies. We're going to do our best not to use the oven. There's so many recipes I have like that. 30 minute recipes for a lot of love, a lot of love. Everything you do, take your time. Take your time because when you cook good food, you make people happy, you make yourself happy. You know, then you learn and again, mess with your seasonings. Mess with your seasonings, I just made a mess. Ain't no maid here, I gotta clean it up myself. Let me just put this in here, right? 
Lemon balloon. Oh, look at that. Mm. Okay, I'm going to show you the rice now. Look at that. There you go. Wait a minute. See it? I got to stay out of it, though. Okay, so I showed you the steak. I showed you that, the cabbage. Let me show you the rice. What you see in there? What you say, huh? Huh? Hello? Look at that there. Look at that. And you take your fork and you know you fluff it. When you fluff it, you just scrape it lightly. This is fluffing. You see that? That's how you fluff. Some people are all down the bottom of it. Hey, Celeste. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my silliness. I hope I made you smile. Because I made myself smile. This has been a feel-good week, y'all. So I'm going to pray that next week be a feel-good week. And another, and another. I think I deserve it. I'm always hurting uh something like that there so it's my time so this is a good day so what i'm about to do now i'm gonna go visit a friend in the hospital for a few i'm gonna call her first y'all know miss priscilla she's in the hospital i called the ambulance for her yesterday she does not mind me telling you guys this keep her in prayer um she's having some stomach issues and stuff earlier today she said she felt better than she did yesterday so we want to keep miss priscilla in prayer also, there's Reverend Donna Humphrey's birthday and Reverend Ruth Moore birthday today, too. And at Altona, Mount Zion Altona, they gave a surprise birthday party. There's some pictures on Facebook, and I sent out, you know how I do my posts for everybody's birthday. So, yeah, so if you go on the page, wish them a happy birthday. Um, and that's it. Now it's time for some Turner Classics for me. And I'm going to decide if I'm going to go see Miss Priscilla or wait till tomorrow. I'm going to give her a call first and see if she wants some company or not. Um, it's always good to be, you know, mindful and stuff like that. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. If you do anything I show you now, do it like I showed you how to do it first. And then, if it come out the right way, then tweak it and make it your own. But you can take anything I show you and do it as you please. That's why I'm doing it. I can't say that's my recipe. I'm sharing. So, anything you see me do... Please feel free to do it. And sometimes tweak it. You can probably do it even better than me. See what you can do with stuff. Go in your cabinet. Learn how to make you some dry rubs and stuff. So uh, I'm going to show you a lot of stuff. If you want to know something, ask me if I can. And I know I'm not going to tell you nothing. I don't know. I'm not going to experiment on nothing and tell you it tastes good when it don't. When I experiment, I do it by myself. And I keep on until I get it right. Then I bring it to you, okay? That's how I make the sauces and just about everything, you know. But if I see something that somebody else did, look, this is important, y'all. Don't take somebody's stuff and say it's yours. You never know who's watching you. You know what I'm saying? You never know who has their stuff patent, copyright, what have you. Okay, you know, be honest. You know, if I got a recipe from somebody else, I'm going to tell you whose it is proudly, okay? Because, you know, like I said, you never know. That happened to somebody, and um, just so happened to be watching. And I took my time, and I kept on messing with this piece of meat, right? I wanted to bring the taste. I'll do something different with it. So when I finally did get it, and I shared it, this heifer was on here telling me how she worked hard and she that I blasted her behind. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't like that. Don't do that. If you do it, just say where you got it from. Don't take something of mine and say you did it. You know, because if I see you did it, I'm coming at you. I'm going to blast you for it. It's not okay. So, anyway, anything I do, I'm telling you, you may too. That's why I'm here to show you. You know, share the love. If you have something, you know, share with me, too. I'll make it. I'm open to learn, too. I'm not a chef. I'm a cook. It's a big difference. I told you who the chefs were, and they always on the page. Every now and then, you can see them. You can talk to them, too, okay? 
We share the love, okay? We don't we, we empower each other. It's about empowerment, right, Jen? We are here to empower each other. So I'm gonna get off now because I feel one of coming. I feel some gum gum gummy. So anyway, I love you. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Mwah.